Eyewitness News is your local election headquarters. It's primary day in New Hampshire as voters weigh in on who they want to be the Democratic nominee for president. There's already been a major primary day surprise. Presidential candidate Joe Biden announced he's not sticking around for the results. And Biden told reporters he is still, quote, mildly hopeful about his chances in the Granite State. He is now heading to South Carolina to campaign. Eyewitness News anchor Danielle North is live in Manchester with what the other Democratic presidential candidates have been up to today. Hi, Danielle. Well, good evening, Mike and Shannon. What a busy day today out on the campaign trail as we were seeing so many candidates out and about meeting with voters and supporters at multiple polling locations here in New Hampshire. And again, as you mentioned, after that surprise announcement from former Vice President Joe Biden that he was going to make an early exit from New Hampshire, well, all of the other Democratic presidential hopefuls were seizing the opportunity for a little extra traction after this primary day surprise. How are you? I am great. Thank How are you, you very feeling? Much. I am feeling great. Thank you. Spirits are high as the top Democratic presidential hopefuls spend primary day embracing the unique first in the nation spotlight. And this is Bongo. Hi, Bongo. Can I take a picture? Of course you can. <laughs> Voters and supporters have been treated to close access with many of the presidential hopefuls, including at this polling spot in Nashua, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren spending a chunk of time chatting with voters and speaking out about Joe Biden's surprise exit from New Hampshire just hours before the polls even closed. Uh, I think it says that he's not here to fight for the votes in New Hampshire. Um, look, I think that this is what democracy is about. We get out here, we talk to voters, and we fight for every vote. That's who I am. I am a fighter. Meanwhile, in busy Ward 1 in Manchester, actor Kevin Costner, who's been stumping for the Pete Buttigieg campaign, surprised voters who were lining up to fill out their first in the nation primary ballots. Every four years, we get a chance to decide if we think things are going the way we want or do we want to make a sea change. And, and we do. We felt good about those early results. Earlier in the day, Senator Amy Klobuchar worked the crowds in Manchester. And at a nearby diner, they welcomed candidates and political junkies from all around New England who want a taste of the primary day vibe. Our locals and our regulars are really the ones who stop in. They enjoy seeing the candidates come in, shaking hands, getting the chance to really ask the questions that they want to ask. I mean, I've heard people say, if you don't get a selfie with a candidate and you live in New Hampshire, then you really haven't participated in the primary process. And we saw a lot of that happening at those polling spots today. A number of selfies with the candidates. And that political process that you just heard that woman mention a short time ago will continue for several hours as the polls will be open tonight until 8 o'clock. Pretty soon we'll start to see some of the candidates filing into their primary night headquarters as they start to track those results that will come in during the 8 o'clock hour. For now, reporting live in Manchester, I'm Danielle North. We'll send it back to you. But first at six, your local election headquarters is covering the first in the nation primary in New Hampshire. All polls in the state are scheduled to close in just a couple of hours. Meanwhile, the candidates have been making their final pitches to New Hampshire voters before awaiting the results tonight. One candidate who won't be in New Hampshire tonight is former Vice President Joe Biden. He's on his way to South Carolina, which holds its primary at the end of the month. Eyewitness News reporter Danielle North joins us live from Manchester, New Hampshire, with what this means for the race. Danielle? So Mike and Shannon, Biden's campaign not wanting to stick around in New Hampshire, as you mentioned, they're already on to South Carolina. And that sort of paved the way for the other Democratic presidential hopefuls here in the Granite State to kick things into overdrive at polling spots this afternoon. I can tell you it's really crunch time here in a state that's expected to see a near record turnout at the polls. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren spending a chunk of time with voters and supporters outside of a national polling location, reacting to the news that one of her closest competitors, former Vice President Joe Biden, was leaving New Hampshire, already heading to South Carolina. Uh, I think it says that he's not here to fight for the votes in New Hampshire. Um, look, I think that this is what democracy is about. We get out here, we talk to voters, and we fight for every vote. That's who I am. I am a fighter. How are you? I am great. Thank How you, you very feeling? much. How are you feeling? I am feeling great. Thank you. Throughout the day, the Democratic presidential hopefuls visited the uniquely New England hotspots, including this Manchester diner. Our locals and our regulars are really the ones who stop in. They enjoy seeing the candidates come in, shaking hands, getting the chance to really ask the questions that they want to ask. I mean, I've heard people say, if you don't get a selfie with a candidate and you live in New Hampshire, then you really haven't participated in the primary process. At Busy Ward 1 in Manchester,
candidates Pete Buttigieg and Senator Amy Klobuchar got an early start today, seizing the first in the nation spotlight. Actor Kevin Costner made a quick surprise appearance, stumping for the Buttigieg campaign. I love our country. A lot of people, you know, on both sides feel the same. Uh, this is a this is a this is a privilege we get every four years. With only hours left until the polls close, hundreds of campaign workers are just trying to finish strong. This is my first time in the New Hampshire primary, and I'm having such a blast. The folks are so engaged; it's so much fun. It's a it's a little cold and wet. I got to say, I liked the weather in Florida better. And the weather really hasn't improved much throughout the day. It's been cold and wet here in New Hampshire pretty much all day long, but it's not stopping people from heading to the polls. We are seeing a healthy voter turnout. In the next hour or so, we're expecting to see the major Democratic candidates in the race for the presidency heading to their primary night headquarters. And we, of course, of course will keep you posted throughout the night as the polls close at 8 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Manchester, New Hampshire, I'm Danielle North. Back to you.